Sal, I love this story. It's in some of the papers this morning and uh, on the BBC website as well about a bird. Oh, go on. In New Zealand. A bird this which is called... This is what we called, need today. Yeah, well, it's called the putakateki bird. It's a very New okay. Zealand bird. And every year in New Zealand, they have a, a competition. People can vote. And what, what's your favourite bird? What's your favourite bird competition? What's your favourite bird competition? They take it very seriously. The comedian and TV presenter in America... John Oliver oh, yeah. heard about this, mm -hmm. decided that he would uh, enter it, and then he realised that you could what? vote in this enter competition. It. Oh, enter it! Okay. Not as yeah. a bird, no. no. As a, as a as a voter, okay. he realised that anyone could vote, oh. even if they're in America. Oh. So he began a campaign for the puka <laughs> bird, yes. and uh, as a result, it had ten times the votes of any other bird, and it's won. And people in New Zealand are crying foul. Oh, you've done it again. No, no they've done it no. again in the papers. But basically, yeah, they're saying that people in New Zealand are furious that this has been hijacked. Because it was manipulated. Manipulated, well, or fair be, enough, it was within the rules. It might be like leaving out all the other lovely birds that didn't get a chance to have their campaign supported. It reminds me of the Boaty McBoatyface thing. Oh, it's so, a little bit so, like so that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar, yeah. yes. Yeah.